right, so today we're going to talk about another piece of machinery that blossomed during the industrial age with the invention of a steam machinery, the steam shovel. Now in 1839, William Otis, cousin of Elisha Otis of Otis Elevator fame, patented the first steam shovel. Now you can see the basic setup. You have this huge platform with the boiler and the firebox and all that sitting right behind. The early ones, uh, the steam boiler fed these high pressure pistons that turned gear wheels that moved the lifting chain up and down the mast so they can move a lot of material. Now, they were originally set out on temporary rail tracks and uh, that they would lay down. Totally worth that because the average man could move about nine cubic feet, it was estimated at the time, of material per day. Even the smallest steam shovel moved 300 cubic feet of material. Now, steam shovels were very efficient and very important in clearing, uh, clearing the way for our new rail system that was being formed. They dug out all the foundations for the huge skyscrapers as our, as our cities proliferated, uh, mining operations for sure, and very famously, 102 steam shovels were used to build the Panama Canal. Now, these were big guys though. They were like 95 tons and they could move eight tons worth of material in a single lift, as you can see with these pictures here. Now, eventually, the steam shovel gave way to the diesel-powered uh, shovel but it's an important piece of our history. Now, speaking of history, where are we? We're at the McAlpin Locks in Louisville, Kentucky, which was known at the time as the Louisville Portland Lock Company. And the locks that you see right here, the originals, were all dug out by steam shovels. So we wanted to kind of be on site and show you what kind of work steam shovels did. Back in the day, moving out a lot of material. So uh, go out and Google steam shovels, very interesting piece of equipment and our history. Also go Google us because we're out there on social media everywhere with all kinds of great content for you. Thanks for joining me on site this week at the McAlpin Locks. I'll see you next Friday.